That's faith. So through faith we understand the world we're framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. In other words, he has stuff that we can't see but it can come into being by faith. It can come into existence by faith. But we've got to believe it, we've got to speak it. Yes. We've got to believe it in our heart, we've got to speak it with our mouth. Yes. And that's what God did here. God said, let there be light. And there was light. Yes. Amen. And God saw the light, that it was good. Glory. It was good. Say it was good. It was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. Glory. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And, and every one of these days, I want you to notice this, it says, and the evening and the morning were the first day. It says there was one evening and one morning in the first day. Every day there was one evening and one morning in it. That means it's a regular day, right? right. Now, so there's people that say, well, each day could have been thousands or millions of years. But the Word says the evening and the morning were the first day. And the next one, day two, it says in the evening and the morning was the second day. Day three, it says in the evening and the morning was the third day. Amen. Day four, it says in the evening and the morning was the fourth day. In other words, these were regular days. These were, these were not like thousands or millions of years. You see, people will try to use that to try to fit in where the dinosaurs come from. Because science says dinosaurs lived millions of years ago. You know what the Bible says about that? The Bible says that some people err concerning the faith because of science so-called. Mm -hmm. Because of science so-called. That's actually in uh, that's actually in 10, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 20 and 21. Let's look over there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now, my wife tells me I should mark all these places. You just look up there. So that I, don't, so that I can find them in <coughs> 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses, 20, verses uh, 20 and 21. O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. In other words, Timothy, hold on to what you've got. That's right. Hold on to what you've got. Avoiding profane and vain babbling. In other words, people want to get in arguments with you about stuff. He said avoid that kind of stuff. And oppositions of science, falsely so-called. In other words, there's people with science that's going to say, well, you know, the Bible can't mean that because we know that these things lived millions of years ago. But the truth is, the Bible's all true. Yes. Amen. The Bible's all true. Amen. Every word in the Bible is true. Thank you, Lord. Every word in the Bible is true. Every word in the Bible is true. Amen. Say every word in the Bible is every true. Every word in the Bible is true. Which some profess, my brother, talking about science, so called, which some professing have erred concerning the faith. In other words, if you believe in science above what God's word says, you, you'll lose your faith. Come on, brother. Sure. You'll get an error with your faith. In other words, you can't trust God's word anymore. Right? Because, hey, God couldn't have created everything in six days. That's what people will say. God couldn't have done that in six days. You know, what came first, the chicken or the egg? I'll tell you, the chicken came first. <laughs> because the Word of God says so. There's the land animals are made. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Because the Word of God says so. Glory. You know how long it took God? Six days to create everything. You know why it took him that long? <laughs> it took him that long? They didn't want to make no mistakes. <laughs> it took him that long. He could have just created everything in a moment. You see, because God is almighty. Yes. He is almighty. He is almighty. It wouldn't took him six it wouldn't take him a whole day to create light and darkness. No. No. But but he was foretelling the end from the beginning. And so that's why it took him seven days in creation. The first six days represented a thousand years in each day. Each day represented a thousand years of man in, in the earth. You see, it's been about 6,000 years. Now, I always wondered why there's genealogies in the Bible. Because they're real boring to read. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, I'll be reading through those. Now, I need to skip this stuff. 
Because you know what it does? It, it gives you timeline. You know it was 1,656 years between Adam and the flood? That's how long it was, you know how I know? Because it tells how long each generation might live. That's right. And then how long their kids lived before they had a child. And then how long they lived before they had a child. And all you have to do is add that up. So it was 1,656 years from Adam until the flood that covered the whole earth. And there really wasn't a flood that really did cover the whole earth. Yeah, God's right. word is true. Yes. God's yes. word is true. Yes. yes. God's word is true. Yes. 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 And so when they do carbon dating on things and say that's millions of years old, you know the carbon dating only goes back to ten thousand years. But but if if something has been in water, it throws the whole thing off. So so when they you know everything was underwater. Yeah. So it, the whole the whole carbon dating deal is down the drain. Yeah, you understand? Amen. It's all washed yeah. away. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. God's word is true. Just believe the word. Yes. Yeah. Just believe the word. Yeah. Praise you, Father. Praise Just you. believe the word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And so we're going. We're going back to Genesis. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And so God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first good day. And God said, let there be a firmament or, or an atmosphere in the midst of the waters or in the, in the middle of the waters. And so, so what happened is God put an atmosphere above the earth, only it was different. There was a layer of water around the atmosphere. And then there was water down on the ground. So the, the world before the flood... Things were different. You know, it didn't never it never did rain for 1,656 years. It never rained. The Bible says a mist would come up mm -hmm. and water the ground. Yes. So it never did rain. So when God spoke to, to Noah and said, I'm going to cause it, I'm going to cause it to rain, and I want you to preach to the people, the Bible says Noah was a preacher of righteousness. And so Noah had to really trust God. Yes. He was a preacher of righteousness. And God said, I want you to build this big boat. And he gave him all the dimensions. And it took him 100 years to build the ark. Mm -hmm. Him and his family, it took 100 years. Back then, people lived to be over 900 years old. Yes. Over nine, the average lifespan was over 900 years old. You know, Noah lived to be over 900 years old. Now then, after the flood, every generation, they lived a little bit less. And it got down to the time of Moses, people were living to be 70 to 80 years on the average. And their people, people are still living to be that now. The average lifespan is between 70 and 80 years. Yes. Now, we can, God promises us, us a long life. Amen. Yes. Amen. We'll stand in faith and believe God. Yes. Glory. So we, we need to believe God. We need to thank God every day for a long life. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Lord. He promised us, us long life. He said, with long life will I satisfy them Amen. and show them my salvation. So we can have long life. Amen. Now, long life's longer than 80. Long life's way longer than that. You know, Moses didn't die until he was 120. That's right. Now, the thing is, all the, all the other people that was under the... When, when they sent the spies in to, to spy out the promised land, all the, all the people that was under 20 years old, 20 years old and under, they all died off in the next 40 years while they were roaming around the wilderness. So some of them, some of them were only like 60. Some of them were... Less than that. And so in the next 40 years, all those died off except for the ones that believed God. The ones that had faith in, in, the, in the good report. Amen. It's either an evil report and a good report. The evil report, they said, we can't take the land even though God said we could. Because it's a strong land, there's big, big, big walled cities and there's giants in the land, and we look like grasshoppers compared to them. <laughs> and they said, in, in their eyes and in our eyes. Now the tr problem was, they really didn't look like, like grasshoppers in the eyes of the giants, but in their own eyes, they saw themselves as grasshoppers. And you see, they still had a slave mentality. They did not have a freedom mentality. Sure. A whole generation had to walk, you, you give what life out until they had new people to believe God. And trust yes, God. yes. Hallelujah. But then they did. You see what happened? Is if you keep that old mentality, you'll stay in slavery. 